Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next-door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Oz? Yeah? Look, when you're downtown today, will you get somebody to come out and fix that broken glass in the kitchen door? Well, what for? Well, I phoned Mr. Williams, but he said he couldn't come all the way out here for such a small job. <laughs> no, I, I mean, why do we need anybody to come out here, Harry? I told you, I'll fix it. You've been promising that for weeks now. Besides, it's not an easy job. <laughs> for goodness sakes, I'm not a hopeless incompetent. I can certainly fix a little pane of glass in the kitchen door. Stop worrying about it, will you? Okay, if you think you can. I'll do it this afternoon. Scout's on her. <laughs> oh, hi, boy. Hi, Pop. Oh, hi, Pop. What are you doing there? We're just fixing the door chimes. Well, gee, they look okay to me. Yeah, they look fine, but they just don't work. Oh. Well, Dave, why don't you check the doorbell outside before you go to all this trouble? Maybe it's just stuck. We already did that, Pop. Yeah, it's the first thing we did. Oh. Uh, no trouble there, huh? No, no trouble. But I found a pin I lost last Halloween. <laughs> If, uh, if you'd like me to, Dave, I'd be glad to check that button outside again. Oh, no, thanks, Pop. We checked it and we didn't find anything wrong. Just I've had quite a bit of experience with doorbells. Golly, Pop, what were you selling? <laughs> I wasn't selling anything. I, I mean, I've had quite a bit of experience fixing doorbells. It's not too difficult if you know what you're doing. David's awful good at these kind of things. Oh, yeah. Say, when you're ready, Dave, just let me know, and I'll go outside and push the button for you. Yeah, that's my job, Pa. Oh. May I have a screwdriver, please? Thanks. Well, I guess you boss doing okay here. If you need me, if you get into a bind or anything, Dave, I'll be over Mr. Thornberry's. Okay, Pop. The uh, number's right in the phone book there. <laughs> I was the one who installed these chimes in the first place, you know. Yeah, I know, Pop. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be over Mr. Thornberry's if you need me. Long, so, Pop. So long, boy. Ricky, do you think he could find three long screws? Yeah, I guess so. What for? You may as well put them in. These chimes are supposed to have four holding them up. Oh, hi, Oz. Oh, what are you doing? Keeping my stuff warm for me? Oh, I'm just sitting here thinking about a few things. Yeah? What's the trouble? You look worried about something. Oh, well, it, it's nothing really. It's... Well, it's just that my own family has dismissed me as a hopeless incompetent. Oh, Oz, I can't believe that. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, for one thing, nobody will let me do any work around the house. And you're complaining? That sounds like a beautiful setup to me. Well, maybe so. I offered my assistance on two household chores, was given a vote of no confidence each time. Oh? What sort of chores? Well, you know, that broken window over in the kitchen door there? Oh, sure. You mean the one Ricky broke a couple of months ago? A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> anyway, Harriet doesn't seem to think I'm capable of replacing it. And there are those darn door chimes I, I, I put in, you know, by the front door. Oh, yeah. Say, did you ever get those things to work? Well, certainly. They, they work fine. That is, that they did up until a little while ago, and now something's gone wrong with them, and the, the boys won't even let me help them fix the darn things. Well, Oz, I don't mean to be unkind, but, you know, some people just aren't naturally mechanically minded. Well, I didn't hear you complain about that fishing reel I fixed for you on our camping trip last month. No, but later, Catherine complained about eating with the bent fork you used to fix it with. <laughs> Evidently, you have about the same amount of confidence in me that Harriet and the boys do. Oh, now look, Oz, don't go away mad. We'd have more confidence in you if you'd do something about the window instead of just talking about it. Now, that's not fair. I hardly talked about it at all. 
Well, Harriet told Captain this morning that she was going to call in a professional repairman. And I don't blame her. Well, that won't be necessary because I'm going to fix this myself. In fact, I've been planning to do it all along. Don't hurry, Oz. Why don't you wait till winter? That broken place will just freeze over. I have to have a rough sketch and the measurements right here. Well, goody for you. Two more weeks and you're going to have blueprints. Well, for your information, I happen to be on my way down to the hardware store right now to pick up the glass. Where's my hat? You don't own one. <laughs> well, you'll be laughing on the other side of your face when you see the professional job I'm going to do. Oz, I'm becoming more impressed with you all the time. I just hope you plan to wear gloves. You mean so I don't cut my hands? Well, yes, and I also thought you might like to hide all those thumbs. <laughs> these things. For a minute, I thought they'd move the cathedral next door. <laughs> oh, well, Mom. Listen. Yes, yeah, thanks a lot. I heard them before. Aren't you glad we fixed it? I sure am. You've done a wonderful job, too. Real crazy chimes, man. <laughs> You're real crazy if you ask me. I must say you guys did that job quick enough. Well, if something needs fixing, you might as well get at it right away. I wish you'd pass that philosophy around at the dinner table tonight. What do you mean? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> Say, I think a job like this deserves a reward, don't you? Oh, I don't think so. Speak for yourself, David. <laughs> How about driving down during a nice hot fudge Sunday? Gee, that sounds swell to me, Mom. How about you, Ricky? Ricky? Come on! <laughs> Oh, hi, Tony. Hi, Oz. I saw you juggling that piece of glass, so I thought I'd come over and wait for the crash. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there isn't going to be any crash. And furthermore, don't offer any of your useless advice, will you please? Because I don't want any. Oh, uh, hey, I don't want you insist. But look at it this way. My vast store of useless knowledge is better than nothing. Uh, here, you can be of assistance. Uh, hold my coat, would you please? I want you to stand here and watch a master craftsman at work. And have the store tell me exactly how to perform this operation. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Uh, hand me one of those tools, please. A tool? Which one? Any one. <laughs> First of all, we even out all the edges. Oz. Ah. What, what is your house done for? that this came as a bit of a surprise. <laughs> now here, hold this. It may come in handy later on. Something tells me I shouldn't be watching this. There we are. Save that. Nothing beats the old know-how. Tell you the truth, you surprised me. Oh, I can hardly you. believe it. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful job. And Harriet and the boys ought to be proud of that, too. Oh, thanks. See, I wonder where they are. Well, they ought to be along any minute now. I think I'll be running home, Oz. Well, no, uh, what's your hurry? Well, I promised Catherine I'd help her with a few things. Well, I know, but wouldn't you rather stick around here for a while? Well, what for? The job's done. Well, no, no, I, I know, but it, it's kind of chilly out, uh, isn't it? And... Well, I thought maybe you and I'd sort of 
stand around and admire the finished product. <laughs> oh, really admired it? I told you it's a beautiful job. Oh, sorry, sorry. Believe me. <laughs> I'll see you later, boy. Okay. <laughs> I was just passing by, and I noticed that the glass is broken in this door. <laughs> that isn't very funny, Thorny. You are the clumsiest oaf I've ever seen in my life. Now, don't blame this on me. It was the workmanship. This would sort have of happened sooner or later anyway. It couldn't possibly have happened any sooner. <laughs> Might at least have waited till Harriet and the boys saw the finished product. Oh, Oz, you wouldn't want him to see a job that was going to shatter the minute you gently nudged the door closed. Gently nudged it? You deliberately slammed the door and kicked it with both feet at the same time. <laughs> Oz, please, remember, I'm very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the heck. I'll just have to sweep up this glass and go down and get another pane. Sure, maybe you can have it in before Harry and the boys get back. <laughs> no, I doubt it. Well... There's nothing more I can do for you, Oz. Guess we'll be running along. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Do me a favor, would you? Sure. Would you mind going out the front door? It's solid wood. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. What are you going to do with the piece of glass? Well, what do you think? Harriet, who repaired the broken glass here? Mr. Williams, the repairman. Remember I called him this morning? He said he couldn't make it. We well, changed his mind. Wasn't it nice of him? Oh, <laughs> golly, I told you I'd do it. I mean, don't you have any confidence in me, Harriet? I was afraid you wouldn't get around to it. Well, sure. I, I might as well tell you now, I've already put the glass in. If you could have fooled me, when the boys and I got home, the glass was still out. Well, I, I, I know. I'll explain that, too. That gosh darn Thornberry, you know how clumsy he is. He was over here watching me and, and kibitzing the job. And, and just as he went out, he slammed the door shut and the glass fell all over. It broke the glass right after I put it in. And it was a, really a good workmanlike job, too, if I do say it myself. Well, honestly, Harry, I'll show you. He took the door and, and just slammed it like that, and, and the, the glass just broke. In fact, he slammed it much harder than that. He, he, it was more like, like, like that. It, it must have been even harder. The, the way he slammed it, no pane of glass could stay in. I don't care how professional a job or what workman, nobody can put a pane of glass that'll stand up under something like oh, that. Oh, right. <laughs> You don't have to prove it. Ozzy? I... Well, the thing is, it's fixed. That's all that's necessary. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, I'll take the pane of glass back. Why don't you wait until tomorrow? No. Well, I want to get a magazine or something. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you all. Right. Well, wait a minute. I just happened to think. When Thorny went out, as he slammed the door, he was saying goodbye, and his head was kind of bent over like that, aiming right at the pane of glass. So naturally, when he pulled the door closed... Oh, no! <laughs> well, I'll... Gee, yeah, I wonder what's the matter with Pop. I think he's a little disappointed that he didn't get to put the glass in for me. I think he's a little disappointed that he didn't get to knock it out for you. Well, it looked like he was trying to break the window so he could fix it again. Say, David, you know I believe you're right. I probably hurt his feelings by having Mr. Williams do the job for me. Gee, poor Pop. Yeah, he's a good man, too. <laughs> you certainly don't want to hurt his feelings. Hey, Ricky, do you know where your airplane is now? Ma'am, it's right here. Why? Oh, I just want to see it. Let me look at it. Certainly is interesting. How's it work? You just wind it up real tight and let it go. You mean like this? Yes, ma'am. That's right. Hey, be careful, Ma. It might slip. Yes, it might. <laughs> but ain't it like this? Not unless you're trying to break the window. I'm just practicing. Gee, don't you think we'd better go outside? And you pull it back like this? Oh! 
Wow, that was pretty close, Mom. You almost broke the window again. Yeah, I wish I had your luck. It didn't break, did it? Nope, didn't even dent it. Didn't even dent my airplane, either. Just demolished it. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry, Vicky. That's OK, Mom. I can't understand why the glass didn't break. Oh, Mr. Williams, come on in. I'm sorry to bother you again, Mr. Nelson, but I believe I left my glass cutter here someplace. Oh, yes, right here it is. <laughs> Much obliged. Say, Mr. Williams. Yes? You know, the funniest thing happened. Ricky's aeroplane crashed into that glass again, and it didn't even break. Well, I'm not surprised at that. This is our new unbreakable glass. Unbreakable? Yes. Oh. Well, that explains a lot of things. Say, Mr. Williams, do you have time to do another job for me? Oh, sure, sure, yeah. No questions asked? Well, you're paying for it. Well, would you take out this new glass and replace it with a nice, old-fashioned, breakable kind? Like I said, you're, you're paying for it. Can you do it right now? Oh, sure. <laughs> Well, it's really very simple, dear. I'd rather have another broken window than hurt your father's feelings, so we'll just break the window again, and he can fix it, and then everybody will be happy. Somehow this sounds too good to be true. <laughs> it may sound destructive, but it's certainly worth it. Your father will just think that the window's been broken again accidentally. But you've both got to promise not to tell. Oh, I won't tell him. I won't tell anybody. Who would believe it anyway? <laughs> Boys, we have a job to do. Who wants to volunteer to break the window? I do. What about me? I'm older than you are. So what? I asked first. Well, I don't care who breaks it. Let's get it done. What do you want to break it with? How about my baseball? Yeah, that looks as if it might do the trick. Lucky guy. OK, stand back, everybody. You sure you want me to do this now? Sure, go ahead. I'm willing, but my arm isn't. Are you kidding? Don't be such a dope. All you have to do is throw it. Okay, if you think it's so easy, you try it. Okay, stand back. Pretty frightening, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you better do it, Mom. Well, don't tell me both of you guys have lost your nerve. If this ever gets around, we're ruined. <laughs> Oh, uh, Harriet, uh, I just want to apologize. I'm afraid I acted pretty childish about this glass being fixed Oh, here. well, no, dear. I understand perfectly how you feel. It was just that Mr. Williams stopped by, and so I thought he might as well fix it. Well, yes, and he did an amazing job, too. In fact, that's the reason I brought... Uh, come on in, Thorny. Uh, Hi, Harriet. Thorny. Uh, uh, Hi, boys. Uh, pardon me a second, would you? Uh, that's the reason I, I wanted Thorny to see this. Isn't this a wonderful job, Thorny? Yeah. That's very There's good. No question about it. You just can't beat a man at his own trade. Yep. Just no question about it, Oz. Well, I think I can no, no, get no, back. No, no, no. Wait a minute, Thorny. I don't think you fully appreciate this. Do you realize that no matter how you hit this, no matter how you slam it, you can't possibly break this glass? <laughs> okay, Oz. I believe you. No, no, don't be so stubborn, will you? Yeah, I want to give you a demonstration of this. Oh, uh, Dave, let me have that baseball, will you? Well, Ozzy, maybe Thorny has something uh, else to do. <laughs> this will only take a minute. Now, look, this is a regulation hard baseball. I'll throw it against this window, and I'll guarantee you it won't even phase the glass. Uh, shut the door a minute. Honest, Oz, I believe you. I believe will you. you please shut the door? Well, okay, you don't have to push me. I'll close it. <laughs> Thorny, you did it again. <laughs> That's your one on me. <laughs> now you'll have to sweep up the... And you'll have to put in the new... Wait a minute, Oz, I don't get this. What's a joke? Well, no, you wouldn't understand anyway. <laughs> God, this is all my fault. I don't know my own strength lately. <laughs> well, I think I better... I'll sneak out the front door again, if you don't mind. <laughs> Harry, are you sure Mr. Williams put that glass in? Oh, well, certainly, dear. We saw him when he did it, didn't we, boy? Yes, ma'am. That's right, Pop. Well, he certainly didn't do a very good job. That's all I got to say. No, I'm afraid you're right, dear. I should have had you do it. Look, why don't you get on the hardware store right now and get that pane of glass back? I'll bet you can replace that before dinner. Well, I could certainly do as good a job as he did. That's well, for sure. Of course you could. Why don't you get on and get the pane of glass right now? Well... 
I'll, I'll uh, go down right after dinner. I, no sense doing any work on an empty stomach. Right after dinner, I'll... <laughs> Wait a minute now, the stores aren't open tonight. Uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll go down the beginning of the week, and then I'll uh, put it in on Sunday.